Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to remove duplicates using Microsoft Excel 2007 or Microsoft Excel 2010. First off, this video should be pretty brief because removing duplicates is a very easy task in Microsoft Excel. First off, I already have a list set up and under your data section, you have a remove duplicates option. In order to use this functionality, what you first want to do is highlight the list that you're that you're going to be removing duplicates from. Now, my list is somewhat in alphabetical order, but not entirely. I'm going to put it all in alphabetical order right now, sorted from A to Z. You don't have to do this, but because I'm going to be making a demonstration on what happens when you have two columns, I'm going to put this list in alphabetical order. So let's go on and let me first do this. Remove duplicates. Well, we only have one column, which is column C. And in this window, we get a pop-up saying to delete duplicate values, select one or more columns that contain duplicates. So we only have one column selected. Let's go on and hit OK. And now our notification is 36 duplicates found and removed, 12 unique values remain. Now this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go on and select OK. I'm going to undo this using my Control Z short key. And this is what we're going to do. I'm going to add a second column here. I'm going to delete these rows first off and I'm going to put A, B, C, D next to each name. So now everybody is A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D and you notice we have four names of each. Four Alex's, four Bob's, four Brenda's and so on. And I did this intentionally because I want you all to see what happens when you use the remove duplicates option and you have two columns selected. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the data first. And we're going to do remove duplicates. Now we don't have headers, so I'm going to uncheck this. I'm going to uncheck my data has headers. So now we have column C and column D. Now select one or more columns that contain duplicates. Now in this event, I'm only going to want to keep the list on the left, which has the names. So I'm going to uncheck column D. So I'm, I'm telling Excel that the only place to look for duplicates and remove them is in column C. What Excel is going to do is when it's reviewing the list, it's going to keep the very first name and the second column of the very first name as it appears. So once I hit OK, we should have everybody's name with no duplicates and only the letter A in column D. So let's go on and try this out. I'm going to hit OK. Same information as before. 36 duplicate values found and removed. 12 unique values remain. But now only the very first name from the list has come up So um, for column D. So now that's why we have nothing but A's. I mean, the remove duplicates feature is a very neat feature. As far as previous versions of Excel 2003 and earlier, did not have this convenient way of removing duplicates, at least from what I recall, before we had to set up macros in order to remove, to remove duplicates. So this is a big time saver, and, I mean, and it's very helpful. And this concludes this portion of the video of removing duplicates. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.